Well, all right. So at the end of video two, we uh, added our speech bubble and then filled it in white. My worry a little bit is that uh, the video cut off before I was able to say that. So let's go back to here. So we, we've added the speech bubble. We've selected the fill tool, which is awesome. It allows us to fill in uh, an image or a space on our canvas. And I wanna make sure that we are filling with white. If you have black on top here, you definitely wanna make sure that you have white on top. Because if you have black on top, it'll look like this. Loading. Ugh, that's not what we want. You wanna be able to see the inside of the white as well as the very nice accompanying black trim. So, we need to make sure that white is on top and that we are filling it in with white. Kabam, just like that. Amazing. So, uh, at this point, you'll notice that the image is, uh, or the speech bubble is too big and it's not facing the correct direction. So if we go back up to our basic tool, the arrange tool, click on that. It'll allow us to change the size. I have a lot to say, but not, not a ton. I'd say that's about right. You could rotate it, but that's not gonna quite solve what we want because that still looks weird. So what we want instead is we're gonna use the flip horizontally tool. Vertically was, would be like this. That's not what we want. Flip horizontally, flips it just like this. And that way, it can have me saying and pointing to something, just like so. Okay, amazing. So, uh, at this point, it's time to actually add some words for me to be saying. So, here is where the uh, previously mentioned text layer comes into play. If we click on the plus sign, and we go to text layer, Voila, we get a text layer. Now, some of it is in Latin. I think that's just Latin. And it also says your text here. So if we backspace, we can write um, my favorite fruit is bananas. <gasps> but wait, it's typing in white. That's not what we want. Because it's going to be on a white background. Generally, you want whatever uh, the opposite of whatever color the background is to be your font color. So if our background is white, you want a black font color. So up at the top are your text options. You have font, color, size, and then some additional settings that we aren't going to talk about at this moment. So if we go to color, drag it down, down, down to black, click OK. So at this point, we need to adjust our text box to fit into the speech bubble. Drag from the side, move over, drag from the side, move over. Okay, now I'm actually also gonna rotate this slightly just to line up with the way the speech bubble is oriented. Okay, amazing. So once you've added the text, you definitely do not have to write what I wrote. You can write whatever you would like, as long as you'll be able to find a photo to represent uh, whatever it is, oh, get out of here, to represent whatever it is that you wrote on the whiteboard. That's the end of this video. Please, once you've written something in your, in your text box, move on to the next video that showcases uh, how to find a photo on the internet and incorporate it into your image. It's a wild video. I can't wait for you to watch it. All right, good luck.